Hello and welcome back to The Big Run, the second of three parts. If you're just joining us, we finished Anti-8 with a setup of Idol, Sock and Buskin, Bloodstone, Brainstorm, and Vagabond. This second episode will see us shaping and thinning our deck, trying to make as much bank as possible to see a whole lot of jokers and consumable cards that will get us where we need for big E's. As I mentioned, this is quite a long run, so I appreciate you sticking around to see where this goes. I'll be your guide through this middle-aged section of the run, and we'll see where we end up before the big finale. So let's get to the run. All right, so we just got out of Anti-8, and hey, look at that. I saw a little bit of a DNA. So check out that DNA. Is this when we uh, get rid of the Vagabond? Check in my deck. I mean, we ha we have a we we've been getting steady uh, tarot cards. So, oh, we opened the spectral pack. Nothing really we want in here, unless I guess I could have. Okay, I emulated for some money. Familiar, destroy. Yeah, I added some face cards. I don't know. I wasn't too excited about those spectral packs. Uh, we didn't take the DNA. Which, I guess, makes sense... We, we we have 39 cards in the deck. We're, we're still trying to thin it, maybe. So, m may not be the time for DNA. We can always pick DNA back up. Once we start to really print money, then b basically we, we see all the jokers, in theory. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's, it's hard to... Sometimes you just can't get a mime. Oh, am I still mad about the that one stream where I couldn't get a mime for like I don't know how many hundreds of rerolls? Maybe. What's it to you? All right. So, uh, I didn't see where the idol. Where's where's the idol? Is our idol still on Kings King of Hearts? All right. We 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 hangman. We fool the hangman. Okay, I'm playing really fast. I got I got to catch up here. All right, we play the stone for more, for more taros. I guess I, I, I kept wanting to, to pump out the taros, because, uh, you know, if if we, if we picked, it was a little early for DNA. I feel like. Alright, we chariot this bonus king. Get some steals. Still keeping the option open for, you know, Baron and Mime, maybe, at this point. Alright, we have $6, so we're not gonna be able to uh, get any taros from Vagabond. Which is fine. We're doing okay. I'm gonna discard or play the stone card. Discard. What are we doing here? Play that lucky. Being very careful. Careful not to select the, the blue seal. So uh, the idol is on King of Hearts. So, I mean, we we have more than enough scoring. I guess I did the. I guess I brainstormed the sock because I couldn't get anything from the vagabond anyway. So we might as well see what kind of score we get. We get an 813. That's pretty cool. And we get a planet card. Nice. The hone voucher. More plutonium. 
A poly 5? Not a whole lot we can do with that. Hone me. Or we can we can we can get the voucher and do one reroll. Hey, how about that showman? Check out that seltzer. Those are some cool cards. But we hone it up and go next. Nice. Right off the bat, we get some stuff we can hangman. Oh, is the idol... I believe the idol said king of clubs. Which is fine. I mean, you know, we... We don't need the idol right now. We're, we're just hanging on to it. It's, it's cool to have, though. Generating taros. We don't need any bonus. Play it. Get two more taros. So at some point, we're going to have too much money because we have $3 right now. So, our best bet might be to actually use... Okay, we glass up the Queen of Clubs. We play it. Yeah, we're, we're only going to get one tarot card, even though we're brainstorming the Vagabond. That's, that's okay. I want to hang on to the Sun, and I want to hang on to the Fool, so... To me, it was fine that uh, that I only got one tarot. So here I do want to brainstorm the Sock and Buskin because the idol wasn't hitting. So I probably needed the scoring from the extra re-triggers, you know. Because we got that bloodstone, so that's going to help our score. I mean, Bloodstone and Brainstorming the Sock will uh, will help us a lot when the idol is idle. Get it? When the idol is idle, like, it's not... Sorry. Alright, there's just so many t tarot cards flying across the screen. I can't keep track of them. Fool, Justice, Strength. What do we got? Rerolling, reroll one more time, or open that planet pack. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know, I know what I was thinking. I know what I'm doing here. The wall. Oh no. Did we have enough scoring? What's the idol on? Did we ch did we have an idol check? Glass the glass the nine. Uh. We we play it. I guess I want to hang on to the strength in case I get a, another. Well, I just go ahead and use the strength there. Get two more taros. Will me? Nope. Sell you. We don't want to fool a wheel of fortune. That's that's crazy talk. Play the hand, get two more cards. Death, oh baby, look at that death. That's hot. But what do we want to do now? We have a death and a fool. That's kind of neat. Maybe looking at what's in the deck. Uh, probably gonna utilize some discards here. Perhaps. Choosing to discard four just to keep my options open, I guess. Death the blue seal or or the lucky money. I like I, I like that I like that that move better. Death the lucky money. Or, okay, well, <laughs> uh, 
I mean, the blue seals are cool too. And we full get another death. More discards. Bring out something else to death. Ooh, check out, checked out that tin. Now we make the lucky money? Okay. That's... Or the steel? Why? No. No, do, do the lucky... Death the lucky money. I don't know why I did that. It's funny. I didn't, I didn't do this run that long ago, but... Already, like, I... I see some things that, that jump out at me that I would have done differently. Preferences change, I guess. Oh, the idol's not on uh, not not on King of Hearts. Glass. Play it. Send it. Break. Okay, we get a hanged man, so that's a good card at this point. Well, I mean, yeah, we can we can work with the hang, but we still have two aces, so that's that's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, we have two blue seals, but you know, maybe. Uh, Maybe maybe sell the sell the magician card to, to get to get the a planet. Or either use the magician. I I'd honestly rather use the magician at this point. Okay, we're we're That's fine. Hey, it's enough points. I do see things that I would probably do differently, though, which is interesting. Sometimes I can predict my moves, and other times I'm like, oh, I don't remember doing that. Emperor? Okay, we got a tower, which is good. Yep. Want to use the tower? Maybe. Yes. Do it. Send it. Yes. Use it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we want the money. Or maybe the two random tarot cards. Are two random tarot cards worth $20? Nope. Or maybe. <laughs> I guess I'm asking myself that question now. Okay, I took the 20 I wanted to try my luck with rerolls. Looking at the boss blind, it's a lose one dollar per card played. N -n don't don't care about that boss because we're vagabonding. So the more money lost, I mean, I'm not gonna say the more money lost, the better, but you know, we're okay with losing some dollars. Ooh, look at that shiny, uh, f what the hell is it called? Family? I decided to buy that planet card because, uh, that takes me under four dollars. The idol's on nine of hearts, and there it is. <laughs> Weird. Hmm. We just play it. We could get two tarot cards. I'm holding on to the magician. Uh, I'm wondering what do I plan to. Um, what do I plan to magician up here? Two random planties, we sell them. Oh, 
Oh, I, <laughs> I was like, why did I use that planet card? That's smart, because it keeps us at $4, uh, so I keep getting the, the Vagabond procs. See, like that's something I wouldn't have thought about before, maybe. All right, I think we're trying to bring out those weird kings to maybe try to, uh... well, okay, maybe not. Or those gold that? Maybe make those other ones lucky? Sure. Why am I so indecisive? God. <laughs> Getting annoyed with myself. Play faster. Come on. I'm trying to bring out that other crap. <laughs> Alright, finally. Okay. I finally use it. I mean, it is something, you, you know, you can hang on to, to consumable cards so that they don't spawn when you open up a pack or roll the shop. Alright, nice score with the idle not hitting. Can we get an idle check? Harris me. some point we want to check the idol. Plutonium. Usually take that. Hey, purple seal stone card? Yes. That's pretty cool. Ugh, look at those weird face cards. Jeez, why did I why did I use that uh, spectral card? Temperance. Okay. We live to see another reroll. Sun, actually huge. Because we do have several uh, face cards that are not hearts. Flush me down the toilet. Okay. Hmm. We discard for... Okay. Hanged man. Not the worst thing in the world. The idol is on King of Hearts. So... Probably figure I can afford to... What am I doing? Yeah, just discard those. Searching for more weird kings. Or queens. Hmm. We can't bring out the weird ones. I just used the sun on the one. <laughs> I was probably frustrated, like, you son of a bitch. Fine, I'll use this. You want me to use the sun? I'll use it. Play it. And then, perhaps, yeah, that's a good idea. Or does this just win? Oh, that just wins. Okay, that, that yeah, that definitely wins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Anything's gonna win there with the the sock and buskin, the idol, and the the bloodstone. Hmm. We're gonna hanged man the the ace and the king. That's probably a good idea. Not, uh, you know, I'm not mad about that choice. We are going to death a stone card. Uh, make a glass. Let's 
So we have a glass. Uh, break, break glass in case of emergency. Not a not a bad thing to have, especially if uh, idle doesn't hit hearts. So smart move there. <clears throat> Although, you know, we're, we're good with... We, we do have Bloodstone, which gives enough scoring, probably. Alright, we're discarding, looking for... I think there's still, like, a queen or two in the deck for the strength. Yep, there's two queens in the deck, so... Can we bring those out? No, we can't. Gosh darn it, so we just, uh, I'm looking at the remaining cards, eh, I just decide to use it on the one. We make a lot of tarot cards anyway, so we can afford to, we can afford to be a little reckless with our usage. Tower? Well, you know, I'll, I'll I'll tower the queen. That's and then you know strength. We well, I guess there's there still is one uh, queen left. Idols on King of Hearts. Nice. Oh, well, we can we can get two planet cards with the two blue seals. Ship it. Hmm. We played the hand with eight. That that doesn't give us a tarot card. Oh, it does. Oh, that's interesting. So playing the hand at eight dollars, we played five cards. So that took us down five dollars to three. So that counted for the vagabond. That's kind of interesting. I never thought about that. Campfire, that looks cozy. Ooh, death. We want to get rid of that king of clubs. Or the stone guard. Okay, I guess we keep the... Keep the king and hope we get a sun. Hey, there's the sun. Oh, we, we get, grab the fool and we get the death and the sun. Okay, these aren't, these are not, not, not a bad few set of tarot cards. Now we re-roll until we're poor. Wheel? Nope. Gosh darn it. Hey, look at that Baron. Yeah, you know, at this point, I feel like the deck is pretty good. We're good on tarots. So, just for a little extra fun, uh, 07 to the uh, Vagabond. That was... That was a fun run with uh, Vagabond. I like that Joker a lot. A lot of tarot cards, especially with Brainstorm. So goodbye Vagabond, thank you for your service. Hello Baron. Kind of both ends of the spectrum, right? You got your Vagabond on one end, your Baron on the other. Death? 
Okay, can we bring out the, the king of clubs? To, uh... Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking with, with those three tarot cards, I can make my deck what I wanted. Because I, I have one queen left in the deck. And I can strength that. And I can, you know, sun the remaining non-hearts. So... Oh, this is pretty, this is pretty neat. Cool technology here. You move the, the Baron. So we get E16. Oh, we get a nice uh, planet card. I mean, at this point, I'm probably, oh, there's, there's the, uh, the ki the king of clubs so we make that into a heart uh temperance probably the money so what does our deck look like now can we get a deck check purple seal uh so we only have one non king of hearts at this point I decide to take the purple seal. I figure I can stone it if I want. By the sun, because, and the tower. Wow, that, that that's huge. Now I'm realizing probably, well, there's the mime. <laughs> Okay, I, I pick up the death instead of the strength. So I probably... I probably look at this mime for a while, trying to decide... Do I... Do I stick with the idle buskin strat? Or do I pivot? At this point... Uh, I don't have a lot of steel cards. Yeah, I figured best to just stick with what got us here. The idol, the bloodstone. You know, because if we switch to, to Baron and Mime, like our bloodstone is kind of useless. So, hey, check out, check it out. We, we brought out the queen. So we can, we can death that, eh? Now we have all kings of hearts. The deck is now shaped. Now we can just mess around with the enhancements. Get some death cards, you know, maybe copy more of those gold seals. Those gold seals are pretty cool. Gets you the money. Oh yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to see like what copying the, the idol, like how that would do for us. And we have three steels in hand, so I move over the Baron there, and we get some. Uh, hey, we get E nineteen. Nice score. All right, so at this point, we're on easy street. We have basically no more. Uh, deck shaping needed So we're looking for red seals um, Looking for red seals looking for ectoplasm uh, Looking for you know, maybe a blank voucher There's a few things that we're still looking for but For right now, I mean we're pretty set Invis Joker, that, that's a that's a thing that we're looking for. You know, we're just kind of, we're holding on to the Baron right now for fun, just to see what what he'll do, what he'll say. Oh baby. Well, is this when we get the money? We sell the Baron, right? Surely don't sell the bloodstone. Uh, 
Yeah, sell, sell the Baron. I, I'm really mulling this over. Don't, don't sell the Bloodstone. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like so weirdly attached to this Baron. Okay, we've, we've uh, making me nervous there. We don't need the Baron, dude. Sell it. <laughs> so now this is the money printer. So if you don't know, the mail-in rebate gives you, what is it, $5 for each, uh, each specified uh, rank that you discard. You get $5 for discarding, and you can brainstorm the mail-in rebate, which means you get $10 for every discarded king. So it picks, it picks ranks from your d deck so uh, right now we only have kings obviously stone cards don't have a rank so for every king we discard we get ten dollars very pog hey and we can oh it, it feels you know the vagabond was cool but it feels good to be able to use like Temperance and Hermit in your consumable area and not have to worry about your money total So th this is kind of what we were looking for by selling the uh, The Vagabond I mean the Vagabond gives you tarot generation, but like this having money is just as good Oh, we get the observatory voucher, which is pretty nice Pretty nice. That gives you uh, one and a half times malt for um, every planet card of your played hand type in your consumable area. So there's a death. I mean, we can make more kings out of those stones. We don't need the strength. Don't need the sun anymore. So this is nice. Like when you have enough money to do a bunch of rerolls. Blueprint! Oh, baby. Oh, that's hot. That's technology. We like that. So, uh, at this point, we can get rid of bloodstone or mail-in rebate I don't know if I want to get rid of the mail-in rebate okay sell the bloodstone well we have enough scoring with the idol and sock and busking I mean it's plenty we we don't need the bloodstone right now but the the, the mail-in rebate like we'll we'll get a lot of money and more money means you get to see more jokers and get what you want So this setup is hot right now. I'm digging it. Temperance, we just keep we just keep buying money. Temperance, hermit, temperance, hermit. Give it to me, baby. All right, we don't even think about skipping for a spectral. We don't even consider it. We'll, we'll we'll get the ectoplasm, okay? Like we don't need it right now. You know what we can do is print money. This is money printing time. Oh my god! A and we blueprint and brainstorm the the mail-in rebate. So we get $15 for every discarded king. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, nice. So we start shaping the existing kings in our deck.
boy, I tell you, this the sound of that mail-in rebate when you when you're discarding. There's nothing like it. It's just that it's just that beautiful sound of money. Alright, the score is about to go crazy. We got some steals in hand. E21. We're already in like PB territory. And we're just getting started. My PB before this, I think, was E24. Nah, I don't take any. I don't take that bait. I might take a stone card. Yeah. Invis Joker. Oh. Okay, we have a, a sh shitload of money, so we sell the mail-in rebate. I mean, this is what you get the money for, right? That kind of thing is what you, what you're looking for. So, you know, wh why why keep getting money if you're not gonna buy what you want to buy? Oh, this is nice. We love to see that Invis Joker. Uh, I guess at this point I'm I'm re-rolling for uh, death fool uh, or negative. Looking at the the boss blind. I mean, we want to be a little bit careful because we don't have the the money printer anymore. I'm still buying the Plutos. Could probably stop that at this point, but that's okay. We do have the Eris card in the consumable slot. Fool, that's a nice, nice one to have. See, we get rid of the Vagabond, but you know, we have a few purple seals in the deck, so that's just as good. Ship it. And we still get money, we still get good money from the the gold seals. And the lucky, you know, you, you get to, you get 20 bucks for a lucky proc. We keep the heiresses up there. Keep buying Plutos. Buffoon pack? I mean, what, what, what it could possibly be in there that we would take a stone card I mean we can probably stop taking stone cards at this point right we don't need that many cards in the deck <clears throat> you know we only have one winning hand But I I need I need a red seal. I'm on the hunt for red seals. The hunt for red oct seal. Alright, what do we got here? Well if I discard I won't get a tarot. I think I'm realizing that now. Yeah, I figured the gold card. I mean you know, the, the gold cards aren't giving us a ton of money. The gold seals with the retriggers are giving us the money. So we can we can steal up our gold cards, I think. Oh, there's still a bonus, a weird bonus king. Temperance. Oh baby. don't know what I'm looking for. 
play some more lucky cards. Ship it. Oh no, it decreased the level of my flush five. That's rude. Okay, the Invis Joker is pulsating. What will he give us? I mean, honestly, anything. We get another, we get another sock. Which is okay. I would have liked another blueprint or brainstorm. So we are splitting the splitting the the brainstorm and the blueprint. One on sock and buskin and the other on idle. Balancing retriggers in X Malt. Okay, we get the Omen Globe, which allows for spectral cards in the in the shop, which is pretty nice, especially when you need ectoplasm. Wheel me. Nope. Two planets. Keep re-rolling. I mean we lost the mail and rebate, but like our our money's good for the from the gold seal luckies. They're uh they're doing work. Hermit. Ugh. I swear having having four uh, four card slots in the shop. I know I've said it before, but damn, it's nice. Hey, that looks like a cozy campfire. Hmm, the devil. Hey, there's Vagabond. Hey, buddy. Thanks for all your help earlier. All right, we're bringing out the seals. We have a death. That's kind of cool. You want to death that stone card? make another lucky gold seal ooh we're out of discards so unfortunately we can't discard that purple seal oh that's what that's what I got that devil for I knew there was a regular old bonus king in the deck Wow, look at the score. Wow. Damn! E27. That might be my PB, I think. But we're not done yet. Not even close, bud. As, uh, who was it? Bender said in Breakfast Club. Not the bender from Futurama. The other bender. The OG bender. Hey, there's a mail-in rebate. Uh, actually, do I... I might take that. No. Passed it up. I mean, I'm I'm not too attached to that second sock. I mean, I know generally you want to have two socks, but I'm fine with one sock. Hey, look at that negative. Ch 
chariot? Do I want to? Do I want to make steals? Do I care about those gold cards? <laughs> All right, discard. Moon, ew. Yeah, so we have five gold seals, so might as well just play it and get out of here. One discard left. Well, I guess I could have brought out a, a blue seal, maybe. Damn, E28. It's Chad. Nothing in the buffoon pack. Hmm. Probably don't want to get rid of the fool. Maybe we use the two random planet cards. Or skip. Oh, let me just skip. I mean, I could have just got a planet card and sold it. I was like, I don't want your dollar for your stupid planet card. Hi, Baron. How's it going? You wanna play? <laughs> I'm thinking about selling one of the sock and buskin. I mean, no, but I guess I am toying with that idea. It's not, no, it's... Look, we just had a fling. It was for fun. Okay. Death? I will take a death. Negative. Obelisk. We're... we how many, like, natural negatives have we seen in the past, I don't know, couple of antis? I feel like it's been three. Three natural negatives and what? Two antis? Hey, there's a DNA. Do I... Do I consider that? No. <laughs> Look, this was a long run. I can't remember all the stuff that I picked up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we don't need DNA until we get... I mean, we don't even need DNA when we get red seals. I mean, I get... If you, if you make glass red seals, you know, you can pump out a bunch of those. Uh, before getting rid of DNA. <clears throat> Discard. What's left in the deck? Deciding what to discard. Perhaps wanting to bring out more of those gold seals. Oh, am I gonna play the? Oh, I'm playing the glass. Okay. Aren't aren't you brave? Guess just to see what the what the glass will do for us. It'll take us over E30 for sure. E30, almost E31. And it broke, so, you know, you know. It's fine, because we were adding, you know, plenty of stone cards to the deck, so we can we can make more kings when we need to. And there's a stone card. See, we, we got a card back. So that glass card that we lost, no no great loss. 
use the heiress, get two free tarot cards. Heiress. Mail in rebate. Nah, not yet. We buy that to have it. Hmm, I pass up on the Emperor, okay. Maybe should have made room for the Emperor, but that's okay. Make way for the Emperor! Don't even consider the, uh, the negative skip. This card. We have a lot of steals in the deck now. Hey, we get a death. Oh, baby. We're gonna make another one of those cool gold seals. Right? Yeah. That's nice. Fool the death. I like it. Oh, we bring out we bring out a blue seal. Sweet. Bloom bloom. Bloom bloom, bloom bloom, bloom bloom, bloom bloom. Score go big. Well, E28. Well, we didn't play the glass on that one. That other time we played glass. Hmm. Emperor? He's the heiress. Maybe if we emperor, we'll get a fool. Will me? Nope. Hmm. Okay. I'll take 20 bucks. Make another glass. There's the mail-in rebate again. <laughs> yeah. Grab that to hold in our consumable slot. And we go next. Alright, so we can death. A cool lucky gold seal. Perhaps glass one of these steals. Discard, get two free tarot's. Another glass. Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't know why I made the the blue seal lucky because you hold that card in your hand. Uh, so it's better if that's a gold card, but that's okay. I don't use logic. Um, I feel like it, it just gets in the way sometimes if you use too much logic. Sometimes you just have to do dumb stuff, you know? It's, it's more fun. Uh, well, we have two blue seals in hand, but we'll, we'll only get one planet card, which is okay. It's fine. I mean, our, our flush five is scaling enough. Spectral pack. Oh. Oh, baby. What's in the spectral pack? <gasps> oh, my God. We get an ectoplasm. So, I know we want that. Oh, we make our idle negative... 
That's beautiful. A negative idol. So if you don't know, ectoplasm uh, makes a random joker negative at the expense of one hand size for the first time you use it, two hand size for the second time, three hand size for the third time, and so on. And those all add together. So it's not like, you know, your hand size decreases by one, then by two, then by three. It decreases by one, then one plus two, then one plus two plus three. So, you know, you can't use too many ectoplasms. Else you won't have any cards in your hand. So for a standard hand size of eight, you can use two ectoplasms and get your hand size down to five. If you go any lower than five, then obviously you can't play a flush five. Uh, but we do have the hand size vouchers. I believe we have both of them. All right. Uh, so so we picked up the the reserve parking. I was flapping my gums. I didn't see what we did. Uh, so we can pick up another Joker. So for now, we picked up the reserve parking, which uh, you know you get money for each face card held in hand. I want. Oh, we get the faceless Joker for uh, five dollars for every three face cards discarded, which is okay. But really, what we want is the mail-in rebate. Or, you know, Invis Joker. Like, that's... That's the ideal draw, right? But... Mail-in Rebate is a common Joker, so... We're much more likely to see that. I mean, we've already seen it several times since we got rid of it. All right, baby, we got we got our ectoplasm. Oh, that that feels good. It's it's so freeing to have another Joker slot. <clears throat> and I mean, look, the hand size is nine, right? So, because, yeah, so we must have got both hand size vouchers, because that's plus one, plus one. So that's ten, and then the ectoplasm brings you down to nine. Uh, so ectoplasm isn't the best idea if you're playing a barren mind build, because, you know, you, you need your hand size for, for scoring with that setup. But... Playing flush five, like I could take, uh, what is my hand size? Nine. So nine, four, two, three. Well, I couldn't take two more ectoplasms. I could take one. Cause taking two more would take us down to a hand size of four. <laughs> And that's a little tough to work with when you're playing a flush five build. Oh, there's the mime again, you son of a bitch. Uh, oh, I get, yeah, I get the mime for extra re-triggers on like gold cards and steel cards. You know, gold cards, steel cards probably will well, there's the business card. Played face cards give a one in two chance to give two dollars. We have a lot of retriggers. I mean, we're just kind of playing around with this extra Joker slot right now. Really, just waiting for the mail-in rebate to get us the money. All right, I pick up the business card. Uh, but you know it. In the absence of the mail-in rebate, we'll pick up something like the the business card. Uh, 
Hey, there's the mail-in rebate. All right, we got it. Goodbye, business card. <laughs> we have the money printer back. Oh, baby. That's so, that's so hot. I mean, when you have money, you, you get any joker that you want because, you know, you, you can just keep re-rolling. I don't get an astronomical amount of money on this run, but... Alright, we're re-rolling. At this point, we're re-rolling for Invis Joker, probably. Or maybe, you know, we'll take a death. I don't know how many stones we have left. Oh, I have a double tag. Uh, I think I, I must have been uh, talking, but... I think we picked up, after we used the ectoplasm, we picked up a cola and sold it. Get a nice double tag. I don't know that I ever used this double tag. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh baby, look at all that money. We get the money from discarding. And we get the money from playing the the gold seals. God. Oh. Oh my God. I, okay. I, I remember that. I, I'm. Wow. I just, I I need to talk less because okay we got a red seal. Uh, red seal nine. I guess we got it out of a pack. Um, I must have been talking at the time, but that's. We got, it, it's a nine, so, you know, I'm a little bit nervous about the the idol, you know, possibly hitting that, but I figured we'd take our chances. Uh, you know, if, if you get a, look, a nine, if you get two strengths and two fools, I think you make, wait, nine, ten jack. Jack. Yeah, yeah. So if you get two strengths and two fools, you make that nine into a king. So, like, it's not, you know... Death? So it's not a stretch to turn a nine into a king. Oh, damn, I can't believe I missed that red seal. That, that was a pog moment. I just completely glossed over it. I was I was really glad to see that red seal. DNA? No. <laughs> I, I keep passing up on the DNA. Look, I'm telling you, I pick up the DNA at some point. I think. Once once we get that red seal going, that's probably when I when I want it. Still leveling up the high card. I, I don't know. It's uh, we're not, we're not switching at this point. So <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. All right, lots of re rolls here. We're not, not seeing quite what we want. Alright, blueprint and brainstorm the rebate. Click, 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 click. Strength, oh my god, it's a strength and a fool. That is exactly what we want to see for that red seal. We want to turn that red seal into a king real quick. But can we bring it out? That is the question. The sound of printing money, oh baby. Ugh, come on. Bring out the red seal. There it is, baby. I go immediately to that strength. I'm like, oh yes, 
give it to me. Oh, it's a queen. Oh, yes. That is the key to the run right there. And I, I completely missed it when we got it. I apologize for that. <clears throat> Alright, I'm slow to play these hands because I want to make damn sure that my jokers are in the right places because I don't want to fuck this up. Glass doesn't break. We're at E30. Permit. Alright, we're almost at $500, so... You know, we can afford a few re-rolls. And we have both re-roll vouchers. Bloodstone... Bloodstone? Is this when I get rid of one of the socks? I mean, which is better? I guess the sock is better, right? Yeah, I, I'm realizing that. Because we have the idol, so retriggers. You're getting times two for all those retriggers, and Bloodstone is only a one out of two chance. Yeah. Hey, that's a shiny gold mask. Or Midas mask. So, at this point, we're re-rolling for Strength and Sun. Pretty much the only thing we need at this point. I mean, we have a ton of money, and we make a ton of money, so... You know, we can, we can afford these these high dollar rerolls for now justice is like eh. like okay I mean if nothing else we'll hang on to it to block duplicates another reroll all right you're starting to get irresponsible here We're, we're not made out of money here. Oh. <laughs> I, I was about to go next, and then I quickly just went down. One more reroll. Just one more. No repeat hand types. Oh, my God. You mean we can play only one flush five that gets us E30? Click, 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 click. Ooh, there's the red seal. Gosh, I wish I had a strength. I wish I had the strength. Click, 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 click. Sell the tower. One more discard with the purple seal. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. Or, oh, I discarded the, uh, I discarded the queen. Uh, what would have happened? I mean, I could, you know, save the strength for later, but. All right, make sure you move your jokers to the right place, sir. Uh, okay, jeez, you're making me nervous. <laughs> Actually, we, we might have been screwed there if we played the the hand in the wrong and the, the with the jokers in the wrong order because we wouldn't have been able to play another flush five. We might have been in trouble. Most certainly would have been. Wow! Look at that shiny voucher. 
That's a cool looking shiny voucher. Glow me. I did say glow me with a G. Add another stone card? I mean, I guess. I don't know that we need to add too many cards. How many frickin' mimes have we seen this run? Is that like the fifth mime? Strength! Oh, baby! So, the only thing we need right now is a sun. Or we'll take, you know, we'll take an Invis Joker. Still, still leveling up the high card. I don't know. The high card dream is dead. Give it up. DNA. At this point, I think I start to think about DNA because we're about to make a, a Red Seal King. So... Uh, yeah, get rid of the, the mail-in rebate. I mean, we have like $400, so it's fine. We can afford to get rid of it. And we have a bunch of gold seals. Another mime. Holy shit. <laughs> Ugh, Pluto. Give it up. Temperance? Gee, I'd love a sun right now. Bloodstone. Wheel me. Mm. Rerolls are getting expensive and we don't have the money printer anymore, so... You might want to cool your jets. Emperor? No. I really want a sun because, wow, I'm really spending a lot of money re-rolling. Alright, gonna discard another tarot. Uh, oh wait, we don't have the mail-in rebate anymore. I don't think we need another tower. Yep. Discard. Come on, can we bring out the queen? No, we can't. We can't. What's that movie that uh, somebody's like trying to teach somebody how to speak proper English and they're like, I can't stand him. And the girl goes, I can't stand him. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. <laughs> oh God, sorry. All right. We got the glass. Oh, we saved the glass. 31. We get two planet cards. Not too shabby. Okay, the, the money situation is... You know... We have 200 bucks, but... Don't have a whole lot of... We don't have the, the money generation like we did with the mail-in rebate, so... But the good thing is the, the re-rolls, we have both re-roll vouchers, so the re-rolls start at $1. Steal the blue seal. Use me. Use me. Planet me. Alright, our flush five is up to level 35. So now we're looking for a sun. Or anything else cool that might come through. Hey, there's the mail-in rebate. D 
death? Yes. Okay. So if we if we have a strength, a sun, and a death, we can make a red seal king of hearts and death it. All in one shot. I like that idea. But the problem is, rerolls are getting expensive. Another frickin' star. I mean, the sun is a star, right? Ugh. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Keep your money, come on. Going overboard here. I make the no no don't use the death oh well I guess we didn't get a sun so we can now we can get our two uh, planning okay we got the sun that's nice <laughs> so we have two more discards to bring out the queen I think we can oh baby we got it oh yeah love to see that Make it to a king, and now it's a king of hearts. Well, it's a wild card, but it's for the purposes of the idol, it's a heart. Alright, that's pretty sweet. So I don't I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna DNA it just yet. Cause, you know, I, I don't need another I don't need another few red seal wild cards. We want red seal you know, Red Seal Lucky cards, Red Seal Glass cards. Obviously at some point you want them to be glass. We break the glass, but that's fine. There's Justice. Okay, so maybe we, maybe we jump right into making the Red Seal Glass. Right? I mean, that's not, not, not a bad plan. Temperance. Our source of money. Reroll. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we're looking for really just death, maybe, or Invis Joker. We'll always take that. All right, discard. Trying to bring out the uh, the red seal. We have one more try at the red seal. <clears throat> Chariot. Dang it! We didn't bring out the red seal. That's bullshit. the glass don't care if it breaks at this point because we have DNA listen to that money I think we got a $20 in there Right. Oh, we'll take this. The, we finally see the the seed money voucher. It's eluded us. We got two standees. Nothing in here that we need. We 
mail-in rebate, but we're just getting cooking. <gasps> we get the invisible joker. Okay, so we sell the duplicate sock. We can survive without it. Well, I mean, we have plenty of scoring, so we're good. Is this when I finally start foregoing the Pluto cards? Yes, I'm like, at this point, you know, we, we don't need it. We don't need a level high card anymore. <laughs> All right, so we're looking to, okay, death, I like it. We're looking to bring out the the uh, the king, the red seal. Please give me the red seal. Please give me the red seal. I want it so bad. No, we don't get it again. Like, come on, our deck is only 33 cards. We can't even bring out the red seal. It's sad. We'll play it. We'll play it, Sam. That'll get us one round closer to that Invis Joker. Uh oh. Oh! I was blueprinting the Invis Joker. <laughs> Whoops! I was like. Uh, what happened? <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's interesting. Okay, we're, we're gonna be fine now. That was pretty scary. <laughs> no, I've had that before in runs where you think, you, you know, you think your score's good and all of a sudden you don't get it and it's like, Oh, shit. Wait a minute. We lost quite a bit of scoring. Uh... Okay, I make another... Uh... Red Seal. I'm pretty nervous about... My score now. So... I... I play... Do I play both of these Red Seals? <laughs> I mean, this is going to be way more than I need, but I'm like, what is going on? Like, I'm out of cards in the deck. I have to roll the dice here. I mean, this is going to be way more than enough. So we, we didn't, thankfully, we a glass broke, but it wasn't either of the red seals. So I just checked that just to be sure. There's the other red seal. I'm like, okay, we're, we're good. So, you know, it's, I guess the, we weren't that as good on scoring as I thought we were. <laughs> A red seal stone. That's neat. Okay, so I, I figure right now we need to bring out the, these glass red seals to DNA them. We need them to survive. I don't know how many we need, but we need to play some. <laughs> if I had a heart rate monitor right there, it probably would have gone up past, well past 100. All right, so we're what are we looking for? We're looking for maybe a death and a full. I mean, that's not it's never bad to bring out one of those. Hey, look at that shiny cat. All right. This is where I start to get nervous. I'm getting a little nervous. Oh, we bring out the red seal. Boy, am I happy about that. So now we can make three copies of it. 
Oh, I remember this. Oh God, I played the wrong one. I meant to play the red seal. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I played the wrong card. I was too nervous. I was, uh, I was so mad at myself. But like, I think we're good as long as we just like play those glasses. Like, I figure this gives us enough points here with the three glasses. I don't need to play that red seal. Because glass is pretty, pretty powerful even without red seals. Okay, that got us to 29. Alright, so we're ready to sell the Invis Joker. We, we need, make copies of anything here will be fine with me. Well, except DNA. I don't want a copy of DNA, but I kind of need DNA. Oh, we have a, a spectral pack, but you know, no ectoplasm. All right, we grab a blue seal. All right, we're stalling until we sell. We're about to sell the Invis Joker. We're looking at our deck. We're about to sell it. And, hmm, what do you think we got? I don't know, you'll have to stay tuned for the next episode, eh? I'll leave it on that cliffhanger. Sorry, I had I had to I had to figure out where I wanted to stop this uh, this episode, right? So I you know I figure that's that's as good a spot as any to leave it. Um, so tune in next time to see what the Invis Joker copied. Is it going to be something cool? I mean, we have a lot of cool Jokers, so. Uh, join me so we'll finish out this run uh there's 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 still a bit remaining on the run so like i said it's a long run uh, <laughs> so we have another whole episode to go uh i know it's been like over two hours already between the between the two videos so stick with me it'll be fun i promise and uh yeah thank you for watching and have a great day.